بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Welcome again to our next lesson. Now, flying high. Now we are on, on unit six. We finished unit five. Now we're gonna go to unit six. Flying high six. Unit six. Healthy habits. Now, volume of uh, vocabulary, page sixty. Now, what do we mean by healthy habit? Now, look at this picture. What is he doing? What do you think this man doing? Healthy habits. Healthy means صحي. Habits means عادات. Now, this guy is doing what? He's running. That means he was walking and then he was running and then he was doing something really in a habit way, habitual. So that's the meaning of habit. Now, vocabulary. These are the things that we're going to take. Speaking. Okay, then we're going to exercise on it. Take an exercise and then listening and then speaking again. Okay. But before we start, we're going to revise what we've taken before. Remember writing, uh, writing back when, you, when, we write, when we try to write a, an email or listen to an email written by someone who is uh, talking about a problem that happened to him. It's a formal email. When you start writing an email for, with formal names, if you know the person's name, you write the family name only. If you know the, 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 the man uh, at the, the bank or at the company, you say, you write only his family. Dear Mr. Rajhi, for example. You don't say Salman, you say Rajhi. Now also don't use uh, contractions. Contractions means wanna or gonna. Don't use that. I'm going to or I will. These are the things that you should use. And also don't use abbreviation. Abbreviation means the name when you shorten the name. For example, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Don't use KSA. We say Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, that's the meaning of abbreviation. Okay, now uh, these are the things, the main thing that you should keep an eye on when you write an email. Now, parts of a body, one speaking. As a class, take in turn to say the part of the class. Now this is a game, you should really try it. Now, one should say a part of a, a, a body, the other one should say another part. If he doesn't know, he should go out or uh, leave the, 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 uh, the game. Now, these are the parts of the body that we've, we have. The first one is ankle. Ankle, this is the ankle. It's not, it doesn't mean that it's a band-aid, but the ankle, this is the part. This is the part of the ankle. Ankle means رسغ القدم. This one is bone. What does it mean, bone? Adam. Chest. This is the chest. That's the chest. Okay. Chin. That's the chin. The other one is heart. That's the heart. Okay. Heel. That's the heel. Now this is a heel. This is a an ankle. Ankle the whole part. This is the whole part. But a heel is just this part, okay? Now, hip, خسر, hip. Kidney, what are these? What do you think? Kidneys mean kilia. Liver, liver, kebit. Lungs, ratain, lungs. Skin, what is this? What do you think this is? Skin, that's the skin. Skin, that's the skin, okay? Jilt. Thigh, thigh. Throat, the throat. Tongue, that's the tongue. Lisan. Veins and arteries. Now, veins and arteries, Sharayin wa al awrida. Wrist, that's the wrist. That's the wrist. Okay? Now, look at these four pictures. What do you think is going on here? What do you think is happening? One, two, three, four. What do you think is happening there? Now, work with the partner, take in turns to give brief description of the people in this picture. Now give a description. What's going on here? What's happening? This guy is injured and this guy is eating healthy. He's eating vegetables and drinking water and he comes, 
with from a, a gym or something from working out. This guy is eating junk food and this guy is sick. He's eating medicine. Now this is the first part, we finished it. And we're going to the exercise. Now, read the text and match each one of these of, of the correct pictures. Now we have a text made of four paragraphs. Now every paragraph is describing one of these characters. Now complete the text with these words. You have we, with these words. Addicted, what is addicted? Addicted means mudmin um, ala. Allergy, hasasiyah. Balanced, muttazin. Dislocated, if you dislocate, yakhla. Yakhla, dislocated the shoulder. Khul' fil katf. Infected, infected, mana musab. Infected, musab bi marad. Painful, mu'lim. Prescription, wasfa, tabbiya, prescription. Putting on, yalbas, or yadha. Putting on, or yaktasib, or yaksab. It means both. Put on. So, The first one, I think that generally I have a quite healthy lifestyle. So which one of these have a healthy lifestyle? Which one do you think? It's number two. It's number two. Number two is wealthy, healthy lifestyle. So I work out. What does it mean work out? It means you exercise in a gym three or four times a week. I also have a balanced diet. Remember the words balanced diet. Now, in this one he said, um, check up every six months and I talk uh, body position, okay, so, but my blood pressure, what does it mean blood pressure? Blood, blood pressure means when you put, you measure your blood pressure. The only problem I have is that I'm, this place, to, what is it? Allerg uh, allergy. To pollen. What is in pollen? Pollen means حبوبلقاح. Okay, حبوبلقاح. Pollen. The second one. This is what number two. Now number O B. Paragraph B. Last year, the doctor told me to stop eating so much fat, so much fatty food. So which one of these who is eating fatty food? What do you think? This guy, who is eating fatty food, fast food. So. I was putting on a lot of weight. Putting on a lot of weight means yaksab kathir mal wazin. The next one is, to be honest, I think I was becoming uh, addicted. Addicted means, we told you that addicted means, la ilaha illallah, means uh, that's his, his what, he always eat that. Um, Okay, he always do it. He always he he cannot uh, he cannot leave it. Addicted to junk food. So this one is number three. And this one last week I picked up some sort of throat what infection. Who which one of these have throat infection? Who is sick? I think he's number four. I have a temperature and left a dizzy all time. Okay, so he's dizzy all the time. And this one is the, my doctor treated me for the illness. He wrote me a prescription. We told you what is my prescription prescription. When you go to a doctor, he writes you the medicine. He gives you the medicine. So this one is number four. And the last one is last month I fell down the stairs and injured myself. If someone falls down the stairs, he will injure himself. So what do you think happened? This guy is the, uh, the only one. Quite badly, I twisted my ankle. You remember the ankle? The ankle. Rasg al-Qadam. He twisted his ankle. Twisted means salaw mfak. Okay, shadd adali. Sprained my wrist. Sprained my wrist also. Shadd hina. Or isaba fil my wrist and what his shoulder what happened to his shoulder he dislocated dislocated his shoulder so these are the things that happened to him and the last thing is but 
it was still ready, really what? Painful. Painful, mu'lim. It was really painful. So this guy is number one. Now we finished with this one, and also this one. This one and this one. Now we're going to part of listening. Now let's listen. Unit six. Vocabulary. Exercise six. A. I think that generally I have quite a healthy lifestyle. I take regular exercise. I work out in a gym three or four times a week. I also have a balanced diet including fresh fruit and vegetables. I go to the doctors for a checkup every six months, and I take my blood pressure regularly too. The only problem I have is that I'm allergic to pollen, but I have a special injection from time to time, and it relieves all the symptoms. B. Last year, the doctor told me to stop eating so much fatty food, and processed food that's high in salt and sugar. I was putting on a lot of weight, and the doctor said I was in danger of becoming obese. My diet was increasing the risk of heart disease. To be honest, I think I was becoming addicted to junk food because I was eating it all the time. But I was able to stop, and now I'm back to my ideal weight. C. Last week I picked up some sort of throat infection. I had a temperature and felt dizzy all the time. I couldn't stop shivering either. My doctor treated me for the illness. He wrote me a prescription, which I took to the chemists. As soon as I started taking the medicine, I got over the illness. D. Last month, I fell down the stairs and injured myself quite badly. I twisted my ankle sprained my wrist and dislocated my shoulder. The only good news was that I didn't fracture or break any bones, and I didn't need an operation or anything, but it was still really painful, as you can imagine. Okay, these are the three or the four people that we've done before. Now we finished with the speaking and also the exercise and we finished with the listening. Now we're going back to the speaking. Work in pairs. So speaking, work with a partner and ask and answer the questions given reason, uh, give reasons. Now these are the, the questions. We're going to try to answer the first and the, the second. Do you take regular exercises or work out in a gym? Now did you do that? Do you exercise a lot or do you, do you take it really four or three times a week? What do you think? Try to talk about it. Do you have a balanced diet? What is a balanced diet? Diet means balanced means mutazin. Or do you eat a lot of junk or pro pro um, uh, proceeds food, processed food? So do you eat a lot of junk food or processed food? It's the same. Processed food and junk food are the same. Now, try to answer these questions and talk to your friend about it and give reasons why you do them or why you don't do them. Okay? Now, this is the end. Thank you very much.